still have to maintain a farm no matter what happens with the weather. Um, but your income can drop in conditions like this. Um, but you can't go off farm and get a full-time job because you're still a farmer. You need money to live. <laughs> and the, um, the farm we've rented out and we're not getting enough money from that to make a living. For people to have dignity and for people to be able to um, pay their bills and, and, and put food on the table. Considering the impacts of the uh, basin plan, the current drought uh, and climate change, put all those three together, and it is tough for, for the farmers. So this drought employment program, which we've seen in the past, we know uh, does good things and I'm sure it will again this time. To get us through the, these hard times that we've been having, a program like this will at least assist some of our farmers to get through. It was just great knowing that I could get a job. So, you know, because it's uh, very stressful thinking that you've got no income coming in and you need to get something. Um, so it was good for me, it just gave me hope straight away. The dollar that has come to the Golden Brook and Catra Management Authority to hand on to us, I don't know how many times that will get spent, but it'll be more than once. During the last program, uh, there was uh, a couple of employees that uh, stayed on and they came with good skills, good attitude and real uh, work uh, commitment. And that's the sort of thing we need. I gave you the opportunity to do my first aid and my age up and things that I wouldn't normally have had. I'm working in a crew here with with a, a, an ex-dairy farmer and an ex-orchardist, um, both who have who would intend to continue farming if, it were, if, if and when conditions allow them. This is local people working on local projects for the local good.